CD47 is a very interesting protein. It plays a critical role in regulating aspects of the immune system. The immune system has a set of cells in them called macrophages. These are the big eating cells of the body. And their function is to remove dead cells, dying cells, infected cells, or debris by eating, ingesting them, and eliminating them. But of course, such a system has to be coordinated and regulated. It cannot act in a random way. And one of the mechanisms by which it's regulated is through CD47. CD47 is a don't eat me signal. It's a safety. All cancer cells get to the point that they turn it on because they can't escape the local regions that they're growing in. We found CD47 was present on a whole bunch of normal cells, cells in the blood, all the neurons. When we block the don't eat me signal with our antibody, the cell gets eaten only if the cell has an eat me signal, a different molecule, and we've discovered what that molecule is. We now know that that system is involved not only in all cancers, but in aneurysms, heart attacks, strokes. It means that we have an opening where we might have a direct therapeutic for the most common diseases that kill people and have high morbidity. So this is fairly big. We were able to move the CD47 studies from basic science into first in human clinical trials here at Stanford through a, a number of unique avenues. We had done traditional academic investigation into CD47 and how to target it in various cancers, both in the blood system and in solid tumors. And typically that's where the academic side of the equation would stop. But we decided to try to develop the drug inside Stanford. We worked with resources here in the Stanford Cancer Institute as well as the Stem Cell Institute to develop a team of experts, scientists, consultants, regulatory and clinical expertise. Stanford's strength lies in the basic science program. Stanford also has an excellent clinical program and it's sort of the perfect place to blend those two disciplines together. It's fascinating to watch how this has evolved and the fact that there is a whole novel pathway which has been discovered at Stanford. It's such a nice thing to be able to give something back to our patients which may help them. What it means for patients now is that in these early phases of the trial, we found a combination of our antibody, the anti-CD47, works with rituximab on lymphomas and works on another one called HER2, Herceptin, for breast cancers. So we got to figure out, are there more don't eat me signals that we didn't know about? We've kind of come a long way from uh, where we used to give chemotherapy for every type of cancer to having so much more of an understanding of these uh, targeted therapies. We have a better understanding of the signaling pathway and now of the whole microenvironment of the tumor. And I think the future is how we are going to combine all these novel targets and shut off the cancer cells. All of the advances that are being made in the clinic, and in cancer, this is a time of great advance, probably the most exciting time in cancer history and the basic research is really fundamental to those advances. So I think the Stanford Cancer Institute is very well poised to be at the cutting edge of making these types of discoveries and making them available to our patients.